so did you count your yeses? Now let's learn the what's, the hows, and whys of ringworm. Ringworm is a skin infection that often forms a ring-shaped rash, hence the name. It can have a border of red color and then normal skin tone inside the ring. Other rashes can look like ringworm and this requires different treatments so it's important not to be hasty with self-remedies. Okay, so what kind of organism causes ringworm? Definitely, it's not caused by a worm. It's a skin infection that's caused by a fungus. And fungus belongs to the same family as mushrooms, yeasts, and molds, believe it or not. As is typical of any fungi, they acquire food by eating decomposed matter, like the dead tissues of your skin, hair, and nails. But this type of fungus is so tiny, it cannot be seen by the naked eye. It may sound gross, but ringworm growing on your skin kind of compares to mold growing on bread. The medical term for ringworm is tinea. Tinea can affect different parts of the body. When fungus affects the skin of the body, it often produces itchy, red, gray, scaly patches that are often redder in its border, and the patch may blister and ooze. So when ringworm appears on different parts of the body, they assume different names. There can be ringworm of the scalp, which can cause bald spots, and there can be ringworm of the face, and a different one infecting the bearded area of the face, which causes the hair of the beard to break off. In the days when men went to the barber daily for a shave, this condition was called barber's itch. Ringworm can also eat the nails and thus deform and destroy them, making them yellowish and chalky. Also, ringworm can either infect the hands or the feet, usually thriving in between webs of the digits. Ringworm of the feet is more commonly known as athlete's foot. Then there can also be ringworm of the groin, we call jock itch, which may extend to both thighs. Athlete's foot and jock itch are called such because they are common in athletes. This intruder loves to live in warm, moist areas such as the skin fold of the groin, under the skin fold of saggy breast, or the armpits. Heat and moisture helps it thrive. That's why you're at greater risk if you sweat excessively, you are obese, and you reside in places with hot and humid weather. Other aggravating factors include having minor injuries to your skin, your scalp, or your nails, and being fond of wearing tight clothes, or reusing favorite socks and shoes day in and day out. So how do we get it? Ringworm is very contagious and can be spread in several ways. One, you can get it by contact with an infected person or sharing his belongings. Or through an infected animal, we call it zoonotic infection. So we must be wary of animals with falling hair or bald spots. Lastly, contaminated surfaces like public pools, gym showers, change rooms, or even soil, especially when you go barefoot. So be careful. Sometimes, the diagnosis is obvious from its clinical appearance. Otherwise, doctors may request for tests of skin scrapings to look for fungus under a microscope. So how do we treat? Ringworm can be treated with antifungal creams. It's important to stay compliant with treatment and follow doctor's orders. Do not discontinue prematurely or the rash will return. Ringworms send out roots to surrounding areas and thus pop out a fresh rash. Application of the creams need to go beyond the rash border. One may also use antifungal soaps like sulfur soap or antifungal powders to keep sweaty areas dry. In cases of extensive infections, we may prescribe oral antifungals. It's important not to self-medicate. There have been cases of mistreatments which led to worsening of the rash. Aside from medicines, it's also important to keep skin clean and dry. Dry yourself completely after showering. Now wear loose-fitting cotton clothing. Change your socks and underwear at least once a day. Have more than one pair of shoes to work. Let a pair sit for at least a day or two before wearing them again. This gives the shoe a chance to air dry completely between wears. Then finally, a light dusting of cornstarch to keep moist areas dry is an alternative to antifungal powders. Okay, so this is it. I'm not going to keep you waiting. Hold on to your seats. What I'm about to show you is the biggest ringworm I've ever seen. Here. All of the red rush is a big ringworm.
form it started in the groin and spread to other areas after many years of non-treatment it's aggravated by the patient's poor immunity finally the tips for preventing ringworm don't share clothing towels or sheets avoid walking barefoot in locker rooms in public pool and bathing areas and make sure to shower immediately after any sport that includes skin-to-skin -skin contact. If you have athlete's foot, put your socks on before your underwear to prevent spreading it to your groin or singing. And if your pet has patches of missing hair, take them to the vet, which could be a sign of a fungal infection. And then don't hesitate to consult the doctor for persistent rashes that don't go away with simple home remedies.